Another 12 p.m. game. We have got a a big-time matchup in the AFC South. The Titans heading to Indianapolis to take on the Colts. The Colts are a one-point underdog at home, total of 49.5. And And if you just look at the numbers, like the overall season numbers, you know, you you would actually have Indianapolis favored in this spot by about two points. I mean, that's a, analytically, that's where they should be. However, I don't know of anybody that would want to pick against the Titans right now, and I'm not going to do it. Titan, I'm going to take the Titans minus one. Both teams are 5-1 and one against the spread in their last six games, so the Colts have actually gotten a little bit better. Uh, but the Colts have not played quite the competition that the Titans have. I, I look at this as the Titans are on one of those kind of runs right now. And and when it ends, it's going to end ugly and it's going to be bad. This is still a team that lost to the Jets. So let's let's not get carried away with them. But a massive win over the Chiefs, a massive win over the Bills, and now you have to go on the road. It's going to be tough, but I, I expect the Titans to get a win here. They have won their last two at Indianapolis in kind of blowout fashion. I, I kind of expect the same here. I'm going to roll with the Titans maybe by a touchdown and the fact that I'm only having to give up one I feel all right about. Yeah, I'm with you. I like the Titans to win this game. I, I, I don't know if they'll blow them out, but I think it'll be a close game. I still don't trust Carson Wentz. I don't. I don't care what they look like. Carson still looks bad. And they, I mean, the, their biggest thing is they have been able to run the football with Jonathan Taylor. That's yep. what they did against the 49ers the other night. Eighty percent of their offense has been Carson throwing it up and guys getting uh, defensive uh, pass interference. Yes, that's, that's how they move. The, go look at the yards that they got in penalties. Uh, against the 49ers. That's how they move the football on them. That is not sustainable. Yeah, yeah, I could I could 100% see that. You know, they, they have found ways to win, and this is one of those spots. You know, it, we, we always talk about hangovers and whatnot. I, I thought the Titans might have one after a big win over the Bills against the Chiefs, and turns out the Chiefs are just not a very good football team. So... You know, does the hang does the hangover ever hit the Titans, or are they just on one of those runs where uh, nobody's going to beat them right now? And that's kind of what it looks. Oh, one day like. it's probably going to hit them. And eventually, eventually, but I don't know when that is, and I ain't going to take them. You know, I'm not going to take them to lose this weekend. I will tell you that. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.